Hey guys, Alex here, and before I start, I just want to say I wanted to not add commentary to this video. I wanted this video to be uh, raw, with raw sound so that you could hear the engine, but you know what? You can't really hear the engine because it's too loud in this park, and there's so much wind. And furthermore, when I did upload this the first time, I got in trouble with YouTube for copyright. Uh, there's a lot of music playing at uh, Universal Studios here, so I just went back, deleted it, and... It now I'm showing the video again, but I added my commentary over the sound so that I don't get in trouble. But anyways, this is the actual, or at least one of the actual uh, hero cars from uh, Zombieland Double Tap, which has not come to theaters yet. And this is uh, played, or this is owned by, uh, well, it's owned by the president, I think Barack Obama. But when Tallahassee breaks into the White House, I'm assuming he uh, finds this limousine and modifies it. You can see his uh, his uh, trademark shovel at the front of his vehicle. And he did pick a Cadillac for this uh, storyline as well. He also used a uh, Cadillac in the first movie. But anyways, you can see a machine gun on top. There's a uh, Twinkie in the middle of that Longhorn. And it's got the uh, Dale Earnhardt number three on the sides. And on the very back, which you, I don't think you can see. Yeah, you can see it. It's a giant uh, spare uh, tire in the back. It's huge. But anyways, I had the pleasure of catching these uh, this crew uh, moving this car into position for uh, Halloween Horror Nights 29. So yeah, once the park closed and once they were uh, getting ready for Halloween, they finally rolled this car out. And I happened to be at the right place at the right time. And it was so cool seeing this thing. Look at that. It's got all those uh, battle damage on it. But anyways, they put the uh, the gate up so that you know uh, the uh, park goers did not go into the special event, unless you had the special event ticket, which I did. So I had to go through that little uh, uh, tent there. But yeah, they're actually going to park this car into the scare zone for uh, Zombieland Devil Tap. And they've been leaving it there every night. But uh, they do leave at least one employee around the car to make sure no one, uh, you know, molests the car. And they also put some of those little uh, uh, barricade structures around it. But the other cars in that area, they don't get that kind of treatment. But this one is a legitimate uh, movie car from Zombieland Double Tap, so they need that security detail. But it was so cool to see this thing uh, driving, because every other night that I've seen this, it was uh, static. But just to see it in action, well, kind of in action, it was pretty cool. But anyways, I caught the uh, the driver here coming out, so I got right next to the uh, to the driver's side and just took a little peek with my camera inside the uh, cockpit. And look at that little uh, missing uh, hole, right circle right there on the. Uh, Pass it or on the driver's uh, door behind him. I'm pretty sure that's a presidential seal. That's a 2009 uh, Cadillac presidential limousine. And Barack Obama had that. He called it the Beast. This one's modified for Tallahassee. <laughs> 